when character is lost, everything is lost. That's a quagmire that we find ourselves in. When our fathers are supposed to be speaking for us, are the ones selling us out. They are willing to have, allow other people to harvest the organs of our children for self. They are willing to allow the most brilliant people amongst us, our children, to drown in the Mediterranean Sea. They are willing to give it all just for them to keep sucking blood and look like <laughs> at the end of the day, they still look like they haven't eaten anything. I don't understand it. When character is lost, everything is lost. According to Aristotle, it is our choice of good or evil that determines our character, not our opinion about good or evil. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, therefore, is not an act, but a habit. Character is defined as the mental and moral qualities distinctive to an individual or a people. This is according to Google description. In ancient African, African culture, men, women, elders, and leaders, we are known for their principles and strength of character. As the campaign and battle for a new decolonized Africa continues, we have seen people with flawed characters appear in our spaces. Their reputation for hanging in with the rotten old order for speaking double is quite disgraceful to say the least. A good and most recent example is the legal luminary Olisa Obabarok San with a very dark mind. His devious theory is prescribing another fraud to cure the fraud of 1999 by teaching the National Assembly, Assembly to defraud, defraud fraudulently and once again rob the indigenous ethnic nationalities of their sovereignty and constitutional making rights and mandates. Many years of stealing from people is not enough. They live to drink the blood of our young and as mothers, we are rejecting them and their agents. Recall that two weeks ago when we discussed how the colonial bandits planted this puppet all over our continent to continue to steal our resources using people that look just like us. And this particular Ulisa guy represents such an agent. And we must collectively refuse all agents or warrant chiefs in our land. So today we are going to talk about what character and possibly integrity looks like. They tend to go hand in hand. Please continue to help us to share. Once again, they are doing their beatings. They are blocking the views because they want us to remain in darkness while they steal our resources. Let me pull up the PowerPoint, sister. You can go ahead and add. Thank you so much, my sister. Please continue to help us to share, like, and subscribe. Uh, those on YouTube, we see you. We can see the uh, viewership increasing because YouTube, I don't think they're blocking there. Um, so please, if you can reach us on Facebook, go to YouTube. We're also on Instagram, Twitter, all the social media. So go there and you will watch us. Uh, we had feedback from those on YouTube. They said they could watch very well uh, without uh, interference. So because we know that they interfere um, in Facebook sometimes. So please continue to help us to share and like. Yes, our topic is when character is lost, everything is lost. Character is the foundation. Our sister has given us um, the whole, like giving us the beginning, you know, for this conversation. What is character? And she will elaborate more, you know, as we pull up our PowerPoint and so that we can follow the essence of having our PowerPoint so that you, if you need, you can read and follow us because we want this information to get our people to our people. So she's going to break it further down for us and continue to share. Please, uh, on YouTube, hit the notification button so that because throughout the week, we're going to have more videos coming in I will break down the show and then once we will drop them, you will see the notification and you will watch and get informed. Please go ahead, sister. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So when character is lost, everything, everything is lost. And that's what's going on in our land um, is a, and also in Africa as a whole. So today we are going to define character and integrity for you. Look at the importance of both of them. We are also going to look at the pillars and how we lost our character and integrity. 
uh, we will further discuss fake Southeast development bill. Uh, message to this legal, non illuminary, whatever his name is, the change the people want. And we'll look at our agenda. Like we keep telling you guys, without these five points, we go nowhere. And then our announcements and the spotlight on our on the wisdom of our ancestors. Like we keep reminding you, I don't know about your ancestors, our ancestors are all of that. So we cherish them and we'll discuss it further. And moving forward, well, I guess we can move forward because we live in a dark continent <laughs> that the nation called Nigeria must be an estate of their great grandfather, Osma Danfodio that they must ruthlessly prevent a change of power, use the minority of the West as the uh, willing tool, and the South as a conquered territory, and would never, never, never allow us to rule over them, and would never allow us to have control over our future. We have to keep reminding you guys about this, because a lot of people think they can pray it away. They think they can go for fasting and the midweek service and bell ringing and noise making and banging on whatever sound to to uh, chase away the demon <laughs> no you, the demon belongs you're living you're living in the estates of the demon so all your noise making will never change anything until until you knock off that household that is no longer meeting your benefits and will build a new foundation that will accommodate all of us